COVID-19 will undoubtedly have an impact on these campaigns for the presidential elections here in the United States. Uh, it already has. Uh, it's been depriving Donald Trump of those large rallies where he gets so much energy. And it's been tr- depriving Joe Biden of his retail politics and his town hall events and the one-on-one connectivity where he gets a lot of energy. They're both having to rely on virtual and digital media, virtual events to get their messages out to as many voters as absolutely possible. We are the ones who take crises and turn them into opportunities. Um, So it will continue to impact both of their campaigns into the foreseeable future. As for the Sanders endorsement, it was an absolute positive and impactful step forward, uh, one that was welcomed by all of us in the Biden camp. I'm asking every independent, I'm asking a lot of Republicans to come together in this campaign to support your candidacy, which I endorse. Uh, We welcome Bernie Sanders supporters with open hearts and open arms. Uh, Will they all follow his lead? Only time will tell. Do we hope that they will? We absolutely do. Uh, But the good news for the Biden campaign is that with or without all of them or most of them, uh, there is a clear path to victory, uh, as evidence proves historically when Hillary Clinton won by almost 3 million more votes than Donald Trump in the popular vote. They just didn't happen to be in the right strategic states. Uh, so that is good news for the Biden campaign. Again, I we welcome the uh, the Sanders supporters, but only time will tell whether the senator is able to encourage and motivate them to join him in his endorsement of Joe Biden.